Happy Friday! It is August 25th and it is the end of the first week of school. Oh my, what a beautiful start, beautiful beginning, being able to problem solve and just work with so many talented children. I'm tired. I gave my all, I gave my best and it's a good feeling to be able to do so. And how do we unwind? with a good book. What is this? I am too absolutely small for school. Isn't that ironic just talking about first week of school? Well, another Charlie and Lola beautiful book featuring brother and sister team. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Mom and dad says she is nearly almost big enough to go to school. I mean, I have some teeny ones in pre-K, all the way to eighth grade, they're still small. Lola is not so sure. Lola says, I am absolutely not big. I am still ready and I am really quite small. Ready to stay home, I guess. She says, I probably do not have time to go to school. Oh my goodness, is she fearful? I am too extremely busy <laughs> doing important things at home. Bless your heart, honey. Come on, it is time. Lola is not so sure about school. After all, why would she need to count up higher than 10 when she never eats more than 10 cookies at a time? Oh, this is precious. And why write letters when you have a telephone or a cell phone? It's up to Lola's big brother, Charlie, to persuade her that school is worthwhile. It certainly is. And that her invisible friend will be welcome too. Lauren Child's wonderfully illustrated sibling duo is back tackling first day of school jitters with their own school brand of energy and humor. And like I said, I teach every grade, pre-K, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. I have the privilege of teaching a whole entire school and everybody has uh, fears, anxiety. But once you go and experience the unknown, you see that there's so much in store as far as possibilities. So it's normal. Oh, someone ripped this part. Oh goodness. Well, let's go to this page. What is this? I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Mom and dad said she is nearly almost big enough to go to school. Lola is not sure. So I think this was the title page. I think this was the author when she was young. But why would someone rip that part? I don't get that. Ugh. Lola says, I am absolutely not big. I am still really quite small. She says, I probably do not have time to go to school. I am extremely busy doing important things at home. Okay. I say at school, you will learn numbers and how to count up to 100. Oh no. Lola says, I don't need to learn up to 100. I already know up to 10 and that is plenty. She has 10 fingers, not 100 fingers. That's what she's thinking. 10 is enough and I never eat more than 10 cookies at one time. Whoa, how is her tummy surviving? But Lola says, I say, what if 11 eager elephants all wanted a treat? How would you count up how many treats that would be? Well, says Lola, I am not quite sure. Yeah, and you know, those elephants are waiting for some food. What would she do? I say, and what about learning your letters, Lola? If you know how to write, you can send cards to people you like. Lola says, I like to talk on the phone. It's more friendly and straight away. <laughs> not straightforward, but straight away. <laughs> but not everyone has a telephone, you know, Lola. Who doesn't, says Lola. Santa Claus, I say. You have to write him a special note and send it to the North Pole to tell the elves your Christmas wish. Mm. Otherwise, the elves might get your wish mixed up. I didn't know that, Charlie. Mm, he's... That's a good big brother, really trying to help his sister expand herself. 
and possibilities. And Lola, I say, don't you want to read words? Then you will be able to read your own books and understand secret messages written on the fridge. Lola says, I know lots of secrets. I don't need to read words and I've got all my books in my head. If I can't remember, I can just make them up. There is pink milk in this fridge. Okay, you still need to learn as much as you can, Lola. But Lola, I say, what would you do if there was an ever so angry org who, ogre, who would not go to sleep unless you read him his favorite bedtime story? I don't know, Charlie. Yeah, not very friendly looking. Then Lola says, I would like to read to an ogre and count up elephants and send notes to the North Pole, but I absolutely will not. Now, I, I agree with this. I will absolutely will not ever wear a school uniform or a uniform. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the uniform, but it's fun to express yourself with clothes. But I guess, I suppose you can do that after school and on the weekends, but I'm just saying. I do not like wearing the same as other people. Same here, Lola. I say, but Lola, you won't have to wear a school uniform. At our school, you can wear whatever you like. Oh, says Lola, you wait there. I know exactly what I can wear. Well, Lola, I says, that's certainly stylish, but you cannot go to school dressed as a crocodile. I remember I used to let my son in pre-K sometimes go to school in his spidey outfit, Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, you know, just felt like it. I just think it's cool. Or sometimes, you know, girls want to, you know, put their princess garb on. Well, Lola says, this is not a crocodile. This is an alligator. I say, you can't really go as an alligator either. Why not, says Lola? <laughs> because alligator is for fancy. For school, stripes are nice. Really, says Lola. Really. Oh, Charlie. Now, maybe if she could take the head off and then just, I don't know. No. That, that is too much. Because people will be stepping on the tail and tripping. And, and then she probably can't see, even though there are probably holes for her eyes. But still, that's not feasible. I like to wear stripes, says Lola, but what will I do at lunchtime? You know, I will never not ever eat a school lunch. My sister Lola is fussy about food. I say, but Lola, you can take your very own packed lunch in your very own lunchbox. Lola says, I do not want to eat at school, alone, all by myself, on my own. I say, but Lola, at school, you will meet lots of new friends. You can have lunch with one of them. And Lola says, but I already have my friend, Soren Lorenson. I like to have lunch at home with him. Soren Lorenson is Lola's invisible friend. No one knows what he looks like. Soren Lorenson. I say, well, Soren Lawrenson will be going to school too. What will he do if he can't sit next to you? Oh, you're right. Soren Lawrenson is a little slightly nervous to be at school on his own. I will absolutely have to go too, says Lola. Walking to school, Lola is all wobbly. She says, Soren Lawrenson is feeling slightly not very well. He is worried he will not be able to count numbers, do letters, and read words, and no one will talk to him, so he will be all by himself on his own. Lola, it will be okay. You'll be fine. I bet you'll both have a really good time, and after school, we'll have pink milk at home. It's important to have an after-school treat. I'm telling you, something to look forward to. But all day, I am worried. I don't see Lola at recess, and she's nowhere at lunch. When school gets out, she's not by her peg. 
But then there she is, and she's not all alone by herself. She's hopping along home with somebody else. Uh-oh. At home, I say, Lola, I told you that you would have a good time. And Lola says, oh, I know, Charlie. I was not worried. It was Soren Lawrenson who was nervous, not me. I was fine. And there she goes with her pink milk strawberry. Yeah, everybody has those concerns. As far as new territory, new challenges, will the work be hard? Can you keep up? Will you be able to do everything you want to do? And then some. Well, thank you, Lauren Child. You have been very busy and you wrote this in 2004 and it's a reminder for all of us to put ourselves in the little one's shoes because all of this is new. Enjoy.